to see you. It's so good to see you. I can't believe I'm here. I'm so excited about You just your flew show. in for the for the week? What how long did you I just flew in to do your show. You did not, you no. lie. <laughs> <laughs> I came in just to take care of some business here yeah. and everything, but I was like Oh, please, I hope that there's a spot on the, the show this week for me because I was just, I, I'm a fan. I'm watching it all the time. And, uh, and I'm also just, one I'm of so my best friends, so she has to say this. <laughs> no, it's not true. I would say it anyway. Everybody says that, people who don't know you. But it's weird to interview your friends because there's things I'm going to ask that I know. But this story that they told me that you t I didn't know. No, you did not know. You've this. never shared this with me, Rita. It's a dark moment from my past, Rosie. Share it with America. I, myself, was startled when I read it. <laughs> all right. Here goes. I think you all think of me as a pretty nice person, but what you don't know about me is I've had a history of breaking and entering. That's right. You have almost a criminal record. That's right. And uh, I was 10 years old, and George Baker, the neighborhood boy, told me... In California. In California. Mm -hmm. In Hollywood, California. I grew up in the Hollywood Hills. That he was a really good friend of Mickey Dolan's. From, from the, the monkeys. monkeys. Yes. That's right. And he said, you know, Rita, Mickey says we can go up to my house, his house anytime we want to. We're his guests. We can go in, and, and it's carte blanche there. I said, fantastic, you know. So we go up there, like three of us and, and George Baker, and uh, we, we go to Mickey's house and knock on the door, and nobody's there. And George says, no problem. I know a sliding glass window. So he opens up this sliding glass door, and we go in through this sliding glass door, which is starting to get a little suspicious, and... No one's there. No one's Mickey's home. not there. So we go, heck, let's drink some Cokes, eat some Doritos, and play Last Train to Clarksville. So here we are on the record player putting on, like, Last Train to Clarksville when who should walk in but Mickey. Mickey Dolenz walks in while we're kind of going, take the last train to Clarksville and I'll meet you at the station. We will be there by 1230. I don't go, no reservation. Uh -huh. Okay, so what did he say to you, Mickey so Dolenz? He was completely stunned. Did I mean, he know he, anyone in your group? He had no idea who we were. Yeah. He had no idea who George Baker was. He had no clue. He just like, and he was with a girlfriend, so I think he was a little upset. So we're standing there, Driving in his house, he walks in, it's completely like, he kicked us out, and, uh, you know, I've, I've never been able to apologize to him, but I want him to know that I, I, I turned out okay, that, you know, I'm not in Sybil Brand Institute or something like that, and so I have an apology note for him, because oh, I really? know he's going to be on the show. He's going to be week. on the show tomorrow. Yeah, he's going to be on the show. If so. you're not doing anything, you can stop by tomorrow and give it to him, or <laughs> you think you might call the cops on you? No? Right, I'll, I'll leave it okay. right here. I'll leave it right <laughs> there for Mickey. Now, what a lot of people don't know about you, Rita, is that um, you've been an actress for a long time. Yes, I have. In fact, I remember your pretty much your debut performance on TV. Oh, no. We have a tape. Oh, no. Sorry, Rita, I had to do you it. You did not. Roll it. Oh, no. <laughs> the Brady Bunch! <laughs> you know, I mean, who knew that the Brady Bunch would be... The Brady Bunch would be as hip as it is now, you know? I mean, who knew? But the funny thing is, sometimes people will call me from their jobs during the middle of the day and go, I just saw you on the Brady Bunch. And I'm like, what are you doing? Get to work. You're my agent. What are you doing watching TV? <laughs> did you, you, know, did you go to audition or were you auditioning for that? Or how'd you get that part? Uh, I was a, a cheerleader in high school. Yeah. And uh, a girlfriend of mine who was also a cheerleader had the part, the audition for that. And she said, you know, actually she wasn't a cheerleader, but she had run for it or something like that. So she said, would I help her with the uh, uh, cheer? And I said, sure, I'd help you. And then she said, will you come along for sort of moral support? So I said, okay. So I went with her and uh, the producers were there. And I guess, you know, I had that look of a cheerleader or something. And they just said, you know, would you uh, like to audition for this? So, so I said, okay. So you stole the part from your good friend. I, I don't think so. Pretty much. Yeah, no, Where's she right now? She's Breaking into Mickey happy. Dolan's yeah, house. Exactly. That's she <laughs> that shows the real Rita Wilson. America's getting to know you today, Rita. Along with Rita, chats about her new movie, Jingle All the Way, with Arnold Schwarzenegger. She just finished shooting after this. Of course, Sleepless in Seattle with your hubby, Tom. So you just worked with Tom on his first directorial debut. Yes, I did. What's the name of that movie? That's a movie called That Thing You Do that Tom wrote and directed. And, uh, you know, he, he cast me in it, but I had to sleep with him to get the part. So oh, that, yeah. was, that happens that in Hollywood. Was, exactly. Yeah. It's a very Hollywood thing. Mm -hmm. But that was really fun. That comes out on October 4th. That's a, um, uh, a movie that takes place in 1964 about a rock, grant, uh, rock group and uh, that sort of rises to success very quickly. And I play a saucy cocktail waitress who tries to pick up the lead guy at, at some point in the movie. And was it fun working with your husband? On, like, it was his, a blast. Yeah. It was great. You know, I had just had uh, the baby, and so it was really, it was terrific because 
uh, you know, everybody would come to the set, and uh, it was easy for me to see Tom because he was working. It was just, right. it was great. It was really fun. And how is little baby? So sweet. He's, he's so here. cute. He's in the back uh -huh. with my baby. Exactly. When my son arrived, I was so worried because he wouldn't eat that much. And Rita and her mom <laughs> came over every day. And Rita's mom, I was like crying. You know how you're so tired? You're like, he's not eating. I said, these could happen to him. And your mother said, do your mom. She said, Rosie, don't worry, honey. They can go in the trash can. They don't die. They live, honey. Don't worry. <laughs> Rita's mom is the first person who got him to eat an entire bottle. Exactly. As I was crying. Exactly, we were there. But whenever he wouldn't eat, that's what I thought. I thought, okay, people put them in trash bins and they live. Exactly. He's going to live. Gonna Rita's live. mother he's said gonna he's going to live. So how was it working with Arnold? Arnold was fantastic. I had the best time working with him. He was really... He's so engaging and so um, accessible in a way that you don't imagine him to be because, you know, of, of his image. But uh, I had auditioned for the part and I had to read with him at the audition. And uh, about, I don't know, the next day or something, the phone rings and my assistant said, and, you know, I tell my friends what I'm doing and everything. And my assistant, Molly, said, um, well, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's on the phone. I go, yeah, right, you know. So I get on the phone. Hello? <laughs> He's like, hi, Rita, it's me, Arnold. I just want to tell you, I'd love it to do the movie with you. I think you're really good. I'd like to have you on this film. I'm like, <laughs> you know, like you think it's not him, but there's only one Arnold. I mean, you know, a lot of people imitate him, but there's only one Arnold. He's and really... you play his and wife? And you know what? I play his wife, but it was directed by Brian Levant, who directed The Flintstones. The Flintstones, a great yeah, guy. he's the best guy. He's he so has great. a toy collection like I do. Oh, major. He was like reading through this encyclopedia of toys on there. That's called like... Toy Shop. He exactly. got me into that. That's right. You get a catalog sent to your house once a month, and it says people like me who are a little wacko, like I would put in original vintage witchy poo, MIP, <laughs> mint in package. And then people would bid for it, but I'm not selling it because they want to keep it, so don't call the studio. Um, so, Rita. Yes, babe. How was Tom's surprise birthday party? Oh, I think you know, Rosie. I almost blew it. Okay. This is, this is what happened. Rosie couldn't come to the party, and... Uh, it was in L.A. It I was, was here in, in New LA, York. And it was, I had uh, rented out the Griffith Observatory it, because his favorite thing in the whole world is astronomy and space and all of that. So there's a planetarium show and everything. And so I didn't know how I was going to get him up there. So I made up this excuse that there was a restaurant opening up there. It was closed to the public for two weeks because they were just trying out how it was going to work with all the people and everything. So I'm, I'm, coming downstairs and I'm a nervous wreck because basically you're lying to your husband, you know, the yeah. person you love most in your life, you're lying to him. And uh, you're saying, yeah, we're going to a restaurant. Uh, are you ready? And then, and ring, 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 the ring. phone, yeah. me. And so it's Rosie. I don't think Hi. of the time delay. She doesn't think that she's in New York. I'm in LA. Hi, you're probably at that big bash, that big surprise. <laughs> Must have gone great. I hope Tom's surprised. And my machine is turned up. So anybody could hear it in the kitchen. So and I, I come get in this just phone at call. The end. And I get this phone call. Rosie, it's Rita. You almost blew the entire surprise party. I hope you're happy. <laughs> Did Barbara Streisand go? Barbara Streisand could not go. Barbara Streisand didn't go. She, but I had dinner with her like three days later, and she was so upset because she was working. And you didn't call late. me and tell me you had dinner with Barbara Streisand? Girl, we'll talk later. Oh, Rita Wilson, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, D'Angelo. Don't move. Thank you very much, Rita. Love you.